Hi, you're very welcome. You're here with Anne Walsh, the Excel expert. And today we're going to look at how you can create um, a mail merge from Excel, essentially sending a, an email shot, if you want to, from your list of addresses. So here we have a list of names and addresses. Now, if you notice up here, I've actually parked all the, the headings right at the very top. And the reason for that is, is that when we're doing the mail merge later on, the first thing Word looks for is this very first heading here. And this makes it much easier to do the mail merge if our headings are up here. If the list is further down the page, what you'll end up is that instead of having things like first name, surname, postcode, you end up with things like D1, E1 and so on. And it just makes it a little bit more difficult to navigate. Here I just have my email addresses. Okay. So first of all, I have my list set up as usual. I'm just going to Microsoft Word and I begin with my mailings, start mail merge and I click on email messages. Now I should warn you that when you create this email messages and when you hit the final step which is finish and merge over here, the email messages actually go instantly so you just kind of need to be aware of that. I've chosen that. Next step is select recipients. Now this time I'm going to choose use existing list. So I navigate here quickly to where I know I have my folder set up, my file set up. Okay, and it comes up here with a prompt mail merge list select table. And notice there there's a tick in the box that says first row of data contains column headers. And always try and set it up with column headers. Click OK. Now the next step then is that we have to kind of marry our blank email address with this list. And the way we do that is via this option here, which says insert merge field. Okay, and you see there, there's my list, my title, first name, surname. So I click over here and I just go dear, and I'm just going to go title. Make sure you put a space between the title and then the surname. Um, I would like to invite you to our next event to be held at the end of August. All right, so essentially I write the rest of my information in here. The next step then is before I've actually kind of married them. Don't worry about the email addresses yet. We'll come to that. All right, we'll do a quick preview of results. You see up here, this allows us to just have a very quick preview of it before we do. Click on preview results. And the last step then is just go to finish and merge. Now, you need to go to the one, third one down, which says send email messages. Okay. And there you say, it's already identified that you want to send an email address. The subject line, I'm going to write down invitation to, invitation to event. Mail format there is HTML. And if you want to just do a very quick test, what you could do is maybe pick all or maybe just pick the first one or two records. OK, now just to sort of be aware of that. So it might be a good idea just for you to do a little test run before you start. So you might just say, look, I'm just going to send the current record or from records one to three, you know, and just have, you know, a few kind of safe people at the beginning. Now, in this case, I'm going to click all and then I click OK. And you see that it's going to do its thing. At this point in time, it's actually sending, all right, it is actually sending all those email addresses, those emails. And that's it, they've been sent. And what you can do then is you can have a, just a quick check. If I go to my inbox, see there's my outbox there, and there's the list of ones, and it's actually just chugging its way through them. And you can reuse that list and again anytime you want to. Now, the only problem with this is that if you use this on a regular basis and if you have a lot of email addresses, um, you can be flagged by some of the providers as being a spam. So in that case, you might be a good idea to look into something like Aweber, um, which is like an excellent, probably top of the range, excellent package for email addresses. Um, another one you can look at maybe is MailChimp, um, which a lot of people like and which is free for up to your first 500 and um, subscribers. Right. I hope you found this useful. Take care. Grow my hug. It's long.